Yeah. Yo. So we gotta say a, a, a very serious and Damn. heavy. I was about to crack another Rest joke. in power. I'm so sorry. You for be doing that, that shit, dog. You be like. Right before Paul cracked this But joke, it was a good transition, I'm a, I'm a baby. transition into the into That's the, the only self. time it, I do good transitions when I fuck your shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, Damn, terrible, duh. terrible. JK, man, we're we going to work on that individually. For real. Next time we need to work on our, on our timing. For real. Yeah. But, a bit, like, but it all serious is like yeah. a big, heavy rest in power to, to the Bad Dipsy Hustle because he... I'm sure anybody can say, even if you didn't listen to his music, I know you watched his interviews. Mm-hmm. And I know he, I'm putting this one up for him. I know you. I know he motivated you to be not just a better individual, but if you were of culture, if you were black, especially, he motivated you to be a better black person and mm-hmm. aware and conscious of your community. Because mm-hmm. multifaceted, and, um, and multi multifaceted. Because he was not just a rapper. He Word. was a business. You don't have man. to he, rely on this rap money, man. Dog, he yeah. damn near bought the whole building. He did that. The whole he used building, to travel. Didn't he? I don't think he got to the whole building. He did. He, he was. He's on the way, but. The whole block. His brother is probably gonna, you know, continue. Yeah, and his brother is basically his business partner. And yeah. they lost one of their other business partners in 2017, Fats, who started oh, yeah. kind of started with them. And it's really fucked up that this yeah. has happened. And um, Man, but right, right but, when the success, you know what I'm saying? What hurts me, dog. Is right that, when he started getting them real nods in the industry. Bro, yeah. like yeah, I feel man. like he was just about to start enjoying. The fruits of his labor. Yeah, bro. he got the Grammy nomination from being completely independent. Bro, like, bro. Like, and this shit's crazy, man. Dog, the potential, dog. Yo, it's always the ones with potential. And he was always dope. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a. The guy that actually killed him was in Rap Niggas music video right next to him. That's yeah, what that's they, crazy. Yeah. They be your own niggas. That's crazy. They be man. your own niggas, but, man. And on top of that, though, and I know everyone's going to say, oh, it's conspiracy. He's doing documentary on Dr. Sevy, blah, blah, blah. And y- mm-hmm. Y'all could all give me your take on this, too. And um, But I do feel that has part to do with it, too. It's all speculation at the same time. Yeah. Because, you know, anybody could get paid to do something. If you want to flip it that way, I'm not saying I believe it's that. But I will say, regardless of whichever way, I'm going to wait. Let me hear y'all opinion first. Well, I mean, initially, I thought it was just a fuck nigga. When I first heard it, like, like it's crazy how, how news breaks on Twitter. Like, I remember, I found out Michael Jackson died on Twitter before anywhere. Mm. Even before TMZ. I don't know how. Dang. But it's crazy how um, how shit um, comes on Twitter. Like, some girl was at the plaza. She, like, she posted a video like, oh, somebody just shot Nipsey. I'm like, What? This man is out here trying to buy the block, better is his community, and all that. And then that some fuck nigga rolled up and shot him. Then you know one of my Twitter followers is like, "Well, you know, it's not, it's I'm, not, it's not fully that." You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what I'm saying? So it's just I want to say, but the thing, thing is, it's, I don't think that's Buddy in the video. That don't look like him. Yeah. The person that they released, I think that's just some. That and that's they, two. That's, that's two things I saw like that. Media. They posted another picture and they circled some dude, and it wasn't. Him. Yeah, it didn't really look like. They don't look like the suspect. It don't really look like him. But the thing is, like. I don't, think, I, it, I don't think it was anybody in his immediate, immediate circle. But no, they said I it. I follow some people that like. That it's like there's another mm-hmm. crib? Yeah. Uh, no, like, because there's, there's another rapper, um, um, Pac-Man. Um, Pat, I think it's Pac-Man the Gunman or something like that. I, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um, he's actually pretty nice, dog. And he was kind of like um, Nipsey's protege. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, I don't think it was anybody in... Cause like from what I gather from his social media, I don't think he knows who did it. Yeah, from from all right, the, the story that's out now is that um, Nipsey went back to that store to go help help his homeboy who just got out of jail. He just did a bid, mm-hmm. and they said without question, Nipsey left the crib and go, you know, meet him at the store to get him fresh, you know, buy him clothes or whatever, you know, see his homeboy. Mm-hmm. I guess when he got there, this dude shitty cuz was there. And he's a known rat, like he's a known snitch. Mm-hmm. And Nipsey told him, like, you can't be right here, like we don't fuck with you like that. Mm-hmm. And he said he got embarrassed and then came back and shot Nipsey. Mm-hmm. And that's what it and, and that's, that's what the they say thing. in the story is. And, yeah, that's what they say in the story. Which is. sounds so stupid it to does, me. Bro. Like, all right, no, no, on like, one no, hand, it I'm, doesn't sound stupid because niggas niggas die like over that. stupid shit. Niggas yeah, are like, niggas that, are like but, that in the hood. Jealousy but at the same time, shit. no, that sounds stupid. Like Completely stupid, knowing what you... Th- I get... Whatever, niggas are stupid sometimes. Let's hear your opinion, Mr... I was about to say your real government last name. <laughs> uh, Mr. Zulu. <laughs> Bro, that is my government name. But um, nah. <laughs> but uh, I, 
I don't rule none of it out, to be honest with mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Um, could he could he have been flipped by some other power who would see you know would like to see him gone? I think so. Um, could it have been just you know a hating ass nigga? Like I th- you think so? That's probably the most likely scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't rule out none of that though, because they, it's they have had a history of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's like, that's that's typical shit of hood. And I, and I feel like they wouldn't do it so much now because you know you can create a you create mortars and you know further the movement even more. Oh, martyrs. Yeah. Okay. You know, ma- what did I just? Martyrs. He said mortars. Mortars. Martyrs. But all right, the thing is, like you know, people on social media say, "Oh, you niggas so dumb. Not everything's a government conspiracy." Da da da. My only concern is the amount of trust people put into this government. Right. Yeah. The government they claim is shifty and underhanded right. and crooked. So before, you don't think that they would be capable of something like this? I, I want, let, I want let, to... let's let's say, all right, let's say it's not, but you don't think they're capable of this? You don't think it's a coincidence? Wait, I so before I wait, wait, I wait, before y'all plain. say that, the reason I asked y'all to give y'all opinion first before I finish mine, right? Because mm. I want you to finish this too, and please hold your thoughts because I want y'all to say that it's important. I was going to say that everything that's happening here, regardless of what the reason is, all those reasons that they could be that we're speculating are still absolutely and wholeheartedly systematic. Mm. They're, 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 they're a result of the system mm. that is designed to keep us in a certain place. right? Mm. And I'm not trying to sound like an angry black person. I'm just trying to say, think logically. Mm. The reason... You got jealous niggas in the hoods because you done packed a bunch of people with no money in the same area mm. and you got a bunch of niggas trying to make it out and other niggas that get to the point where they shady as fucking don't give a shit. Yeah, that's all they and know. Don't give that's a all they and for, now right? and it is systematic because all of the that nigga's daddy probably was in jail or one of his uncles was probably in jail. A lot of these our millennial generation parents was in jail, mm-hmm. okay? And all that started happening in the eighties, all right? And so that's why you have more. There's no. There's not a lot of OGs anymore. So you don't have these young gangsters. They, take they don't have respect for life. They don't have respect for elders. Mm-hmm. They don't have respect for children. So you got kids getting shot in drive-bys. You got kids getting shot up in their house. It's, it's just. Ha- it's happening because it's it's all systematic. Yeah. So if a nigga got paid to do it because it was the government because Nipsey Hussle was doing a documentary on Dr. Sebi, mm-hmm. or if it was a jealous nigga that was just like. Man, he just embarrassed me, and I'm mm. tired of people calling me a snitch, even though he might really. He really they said is he's a, a well. He really is a snitch. And he's like, even if it was that, that's still part of the system too. Yeah, that's all. That's systematic. a very good point. So that the fact of the matter point, is, cause, cause we they, we can't they, forget mm-hmm. because they because even even the way they police, mm-hmm. they know how the street works, mm-hmm. so they know what they do when they create informants, but then. <laughs> Like you said, and um, that's an excellent point, and I agree. And um, I, I want to, I want to finish my thought real quick. So when you look at all that, and so acknowledging this, knowing that it's systematic, you can't forget the knowledge that Nipsey Hussle put out there. Now he has a body of work. Go and watch his interviews. If you don't want to go read a book, go listen to one of his interviews, man. He's gonna teach you about the ways to, as a community, change the way. Teach the economy invest. works, yeah. and and change the way we look at ourselves. And he been on that, yeah. From 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 jump, yeah. That old video here when he had the curly hair, yeah. yeah. When he even had the beard and like, all I'm that. Trying to own land. Man, let's talk about owning land. The interview was like, wait, what was, what did you just say? Where he's like invest in land. And that interview it was dope too because he was on it, but he, he was just like surprised to hear it. From yeah, a young yeah, from like, such yeah. a young rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and speaking of his and music. Remember he sorry. Remember he owns a hundred percent of his masters. He owns mm. everything. So the more you stream and shit, Word, that's a the more money for his family. Yeah, and then you know be, be able to pay. For, I'm sure they can still pay for funeral costs and everything, but they'll still be able to, to dog, make money make from that those shit streams. Go platinum, and all that. dog. For real, sure, just turn sure, on your Spotify sure, and let it ride. Make sure his kids' kids don't want for nothing, man. Absolutely. And yeah, yeah, make sure that. He's taken care of. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> and all you dumbass. Oh, you you guys are Nipsey fans now. So the fuck what? No, no, not even that. Like I've been a fan of as a person. I remember being at in Broward Community College when it was Broward Community College. 
back in like 08. Because you value my homeboy like being McLean. underground and knowing about shit. And when other people kind of invaded that space of, oh, all of a sudden you're talking about this person I talk we about We should chill all the in the time. crib and listen to Nipsey. Yeah. No, honestly, I would rather you um listen to somebody that I listen to that I don't think you listen to. Mm. So the music is spread and you can hear the, the, the dope shit I'm listening to. Word. There's the same thing with Sean Price. May he rest in peace. He died in 2015. And everybody's, oh, all of a sudden, listen to Sean Price. Yeah, listen to Sean Price. He's yeah, dope. Yeah, dope. Word. You know and what I'm saying? Same thing with Nipsey. Timeless. Listen to Nipsey. He's but, uh, dope. And when what's the, when what's the motivation? Like, what are you mad at? It, no, people, people people just want attention. That's people, all it is. People people showing love to somebody you you claim you you admire. What's, you should what, be happy. That's the, so weird to me. You know what I'm saying? All these people riding a wave. Shut up. Yeah, yeah you nah, niggas is you up, niggas is weirdos. Yeah. Somebody, so, I, but because like you don't expect balls, people bro. to react. He was like, "Oh, this person died." Well, I didn't listen to his music, so fuck. It. Like, you, what do you expect? Yeah. Like, oh, so, and then so, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, oh, I was. Say, say what you're gonna say. No, and then um, I don't know if it's last year, a couple years back, he made a post on Instagram that was homophobic, mm. where um he posted like a picture of like a bunch of black men and young black men. It's it, I think it was like a summit or something. He was and he's basically saying this is how the um the media needs to portray us and view us. Not drug dealers, not gang makers, not. Not homosexuals, blah blah blah, and mm. you know, of course, they ripped them. They the wanted to rip them on that. And then you're gonna see the people on Twitter, the you know, the gay people, the trans people, whatever, talk about, oh, Nipsey Hussle died, the homophobic one. You expect me to feel sorry? You expect me to feel sorry? Like, oh, that's disgusting. You niggas are the roaches of the ro- I don't care if you're that's gay, trans, straight, or whatever. You speaking ill on a dead man, a father, a son, a uncle, a husband. It yeah, doesn't matter over what, his opinion. Over, over his, his opinion, opinion. he did. He's he didn't. You niggas is bottom of the barrel roaches. Word. And, and a very, the truth, a dog, very, they do. Yeah, they and, do and push that um effeminate well, shit. Well, they I do yeah. they try to demasculate the the um and, black man. And absolutely, and, and yeah, because a lot of times in media, the the only times you would see a black character sometimes it would be like the homosexual dude. Do do do. It's like damn, like you had to you had to go through certain lanes just to get a part, really. Like you was either gangbanger, or you was like a gay dude, or you was you know wearing a dress or something. Yep. And like, but regardless of that, like we can't allow all of this, these conversations that are negative, skew the knowledge that he was trying to spread. Mm-hmm. Not trying to that he was spreading. Mm-hmm. That the the fact that we gotta wake up and like actually be conscious of. Our heritage, and he was that way because he grew up in a household mm-hmm. that promoted this. He was always his mom always pushed education, mm-hmm. always pushed education. And then he found out like his name. I think his name means like God shines God. through or something like that. Sent by God. Sent by God. Oh, okay. And like so, his name is what? Am- Amarius. I don't oh. want to say it wrong. Amarius Ashgadon. I-, I believe. I believe so. I and, think that's um, the best I'm gonna pronounce it. And. Aramias. Or Aramias. Is it Aramias? No, no, no. It's Aramias. I thought it was Aramias. Nah. But I, I found the Instagram it, It's not that. It's with an E. And He's then wrong. and it's an I-A-S at the end. Oh. But um, he... Aramias, so he found out he's think, yeah. he found out he's African. You know, he's... um Eritrean. Eritrean or Eritrean. Man, I'll be Eritrean. saying the wrong name. <laughs> I'll be like, Eritrean? That nigga Eritrean, cuz. Nah. <laughs> um, but he found out he's Eritrean, and that was his where his pops is from. And he even went to Africa. He, he went to Africa with his siblings, and he met his grandmother there and um, wow. all that stuff. So, like, he got to really get a, a deeper consciousness and identity. Mm. So that paired with his, you know... Um, ingraining of um, his priorities of education that were mm-hmm. ingrained by his mother, mm-hmm. you know, put those two together with with a sense of self and knowing where you're from. Mm. Yo, took him out, man. Mm. Yeah. So, just know that you got to. So what he what we can learn from this is know yourself, mm-hmm. have pride in yourself, and and have love for yourself, and then and now educate yourself. Mm-hmm. Because if you continue to do that and you use that education that you that knowledge that you gain from the educ from the educating of yourself, you apply that to your life 
and you can get the things and be successful the way Nipsey was. And then there'll be more of us out there like exactly. that. Exactly. And can't eventually they all. can't kill us all. Or, and when you say they can't kill us all, don't put me as some conspiracy theories. I'm saying they can't kill us all systematically because yeah. a jealous nigga is still an effect of the system. Yep. I'm trying to bring it back around. Y'all need to open up your minds. Absolutely. So like, you're right. So just just continue to to think that way. And you know, people. People are gonna lose, you know. Some of us, is, some good ones, will go down. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep going. You can't just like be scared and stop and act like Steve Harvey trying to chuck and jive and shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh you boy, know what I'm saying. I'm surprised that nigga ankles ain't broke by like tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Nip's pop, um, speaking of his Nipsey's father, his father was an activist. Oh, Back he was? when, um, like during yeah. the whole apartheid thing and everything. Yeah, yeah. There's a picture. There's a picture of um his dad in like a um um Nipsey's father, Dewitt. As Gidam was a Marxist activist during the struggle for Eritrean independence, he was one of the demonstrators in his 1975 pictures of Eritrean protesters in New York City. He's in the far right, and he's holding up a sign that said "Down with Apartheid and Imperialism." Mm. So it's it's in his blood, dog. Yeah, like he's not he's not just like you know waking up morning. Hey, I'm good to know. It's in his blood, like you yeah. said. He grew, it grew up with him and everything. And as far as that caption. That he put on Instagram. I I don't want to misquote the man. He um. Oh, I mean, having strong enemies is no, not that one. Oh. That that was chilling. That was chilling mm -hmm. though. That was his last tweet before he died. Having strong enemies. That is very chilling though. That's like some movie script shit though. Mm -hmm. So you can't even make some of this shit up. It said demonstration speaks louder than conversation. They're gonna feed us every image of our men and boys, but not this one. No hyperviolent, no homosexual, no abandoners. Just strong black men and young men. Respect to the big homie, and da da da. And then he uh, he apologized. Said, "I don't look down on gay people. I love all God's children for real. I take issue with the larger agenda, and I'm very well informed." He capitalized. Yeah. That. Contrary to my appearance, and my conclusion is there's an agenda. We can go fact for fact and get you some understanding if you'd like. If not, God bless. Yeah. That's how you punch someone in the face exactly. with words. <laughs> yeah, no, he was prepared to back himself up. Exactly. Mm. He's, he's not one of those dumb niggas that had to say just some say shit, shit and, you know, it can't back it up. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he said, contrary to my appearance, mm. I may have the face tats and the chains mm. and I look like a gangbanger and, you know, I I represent myself. all the 60s, but... He's still a smart. He's still a smart young man. He still has his shit in order. Mm. You can't put that dumb rapper label on him. No word. And then when it comes to rap, he can spit too. <laughs> on top of that, so don't get it confused, man. And he be and he be in the hood, man. He be in yeah. the hood. Like Nick, a lot of people know him and they even know his name. Like I told my pops on Monday, I'm like, man, I'm upset about this. And he's like, yeah, I didn't even know I knew him. He's like, cause oh, you know? he said like he heard the name. His girl was talking about it, and then. Um, he was like, oh, I don't know these rappers. I just there's a lot of new young LA dudes I don't know. My dad be all around, and um, he knows him from Lamert Park when he used to be out there chilling. Sometimes. Oh, okay. And like I, I would know that because my pops had me in Lamert Park all the damn time so much. I just be like, Dad, can we go home? So like, <laughs> like yeah, but there's a like, for those of y'all who don't know Lamert Park in LA, it's in the hood. And I think it's being a little more gentrified now, if I'm not mistaken. But like, I haven't been there in a while. But they always, from back in like, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s, when I used to be out there, it was like African bookstore, African dance studio. Like, it was a little strip mm -hmm. by this um, circle that was like just black, mm -hmm. African, mm -hmm. like a little African gift shop, like all kinds of stuff. And it was all black owned. It was dope. And he said it's he used to see him out there. And like, you know. They always used to hail each other up, and he's you know he's just one of them dudes that's cool in the hood with everybody. So he made he was upset because he's been part in part in those conversations, you know, in groups with him, like mm. when he's educating people and talking about knowing yourself and mm. buying land and mm. buying your properties and investing in the community and mm. putting your money together. So mm. like he was like, damn man, they took out a good one. Yeah, he was like so it's, it's crazy like, how he was he, really out there. He's universally <laughs> Bro, loved. Yeah. Like I've never seen cops. Love a rapper so much. It's crazy. Yeah. When uh, the, I guess the chief of the LAPD was announcing, he said he had to do a triple check at the paper, like not Nipsey. Yeah. I'm like, damn, yeah, everybody loves him. Because Nipsey had a meeting with him <coughs> for April 1st. <coughs> um, he had a meeting with him to, um, was he the commission? No, not the commission. The not the I, I, yeah, I'm not the sure. The police I'm not chief sure. of the LAPD mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, about, you know, to discuss, you know, ways to reduce gang violence and things mm-hmm. like that. So, mm-hmm. and we already know him and YG, um, Nipsey Hussle and YG were good friends. Yeah. Uh, became good friends. Even though they're obviously they had gays. trouble. They had trouble before, I believe, but okay. they became good friends. And we all seen games reaction and everything. And, you know, it's yeah, just I, fucked up. That nigga know? almost cried. You can hear so, it in his voice, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after, crazy, after we mourn, let's just continue on. And, like, you let his spirit live on throughout what he taught us and what is still teaching us through the music. Because his type of music is the music you listen to one, more than once. Mm-hmm. And, and like, oh, snap, I ain't hear that before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if, if you really care about Nipsey and if you ain't no dick rider... <laughs> if you're not a bandwagoner, go mm-hmm. ahead and educate yourself with his music and take mm-hmm. that as a springboard to go and learn about other things and build up your community. Right? Yeah, straight up. Plain and simple. I'm not going to lie. Right. I, I listened to uh, Victory Lap for the first time last month. Oh, no. I, I, that's bro, just hard as fuck, I bro. listened to it last year. Oh, yeah. From... Yeah, I remember the first time I heard of Nipsey was on a freshman class, 2010. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Nipsey, J-Rock, J. Cole... Um, it was a bunch of like a popping rappers. He now. was more obscure, yeah, uh, back then. But I remember like this uh, homeboy from school, uh, from the Caribbean club. He was like, I used to chill with him, and be like, "Yo, this nigga Nipsey Hustle." I was listening to this shit, man. And, yeah. Like I was like, "Oh, this is kind of dope," but like he never like blew up, blew up on the radio or anything. But mm-hmm. he was still like he he had respect. Yeah, he, yeah, he was well respected. Continued yeah, on, yeah, so right. Right. and that just. And and also, man, like we gotta appreciate people while they're here, you know, and make sure, you know, cause you mm-hmm. never know, man. Cause it, it, give people the flowers while they can still smell exactly, it. Exactly, dog. And no, that, I agree with you, but I feel like Nipsey got his flowers when he was here. He did. He did. I feel he like got he a lot did. of love. He was starting yeah. to. He was starting to. No, it was nah, he was getting love. He was, yeah, 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 but he, he had love before anybody. Before, before, anybody before like, the Grammy nomination, all yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. He was. He had love. He definitely was. He had love. And I wonder. I wonder if it was like. Because, you know, I don't know, I feel like life is funny. It is. And I feel <laughs> like, you know, I, you think maybe part of the reason why he got that was because he was going to go early? Got what? Like, all the love and, like, all right. One, that, that season of, like, just... Oh, yeah, you know? I see what you said. I see what you said. I yeah, for, some I stuff forgot, lines I forgot up. the quote. Jay-Z quoted somebody at his acceptance speech the other day. <laughs> and he says something like, it's not... The length of your life, but it's the life you put in some shit. <laughs> but I, I think I get it's what like you're saying. It's like the life, you know, it's not the length of your life, but it's how much life you put in your time here type. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. That makes sense. And it's like, yeah. and he definitely you know, bumped a lot of life. And yeah, he, put right. all, he gave a lot of life. and yeah, That's a lifetime <laughs> you know, worth of influence. Huh? Mm-hmm. Damn, man. That's an awful way to go. And like I've... It's so violent. That it's awful. Yeah, like I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. Like... How he killed him, like shot don't him. Don't even like. Let's yeah, not even like give if, it if that. you know, you know. If you I, know, man, I it's think just... I think we should leave on a note of positivity. Like Absolutely, I said, man. like remember the message that he taught. Use his music and his interviews, his document. There's plenty of documentaries on what he did. Um, if you you know you can see his spirit and all that, and 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 use that as a springboard to educate yourself and 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 build on that. So let's keep it positive and. You know, I hope that they they find the real murderers or whatever. Yeah, get down to the, the real truth. murderer. Yeah, get, get down get, to the yeah, truth absolutely. and like handle that. Mm-hmm. And like, um, I, I I we we pray for comfort for Nipsey's family. Yeah, for Lauren, for Lauren London, oh gosh, and his children. Happened, and it's you know that's and uh, let's stop circulating all this messed up stuff around the media too. Yeah. And like. Just show more respect for our loved ones. So yeah, show them in a good light. Yeah, man, he deserves it. True. More than deserves it. I All think right. we could close it on that. Yeah, man. What y'all say? R.I.P. Nip. Word. Yeah, R.I.P. Nip. Word.